do you want to get smarter by by not attending lectures or studying so much? Do you want to experience new places, but you can't afford it? Or do you even want to look busy sometimes, but still have fun? You can do all of this and more by reading for fun. You get smarter as you learn things, and reading help. Reading increases your vo vocabulary. And according to Rebecca Cross, it is also a good way to protect against dementia. Dementia is a progressive condition that slowly takes your memory away. And by, by reading and growing your vocabulary, it's constantly reinforcing those, those new words or phrases and helps fight against dementia if you're one of those thousands of people that may or may not have it. It reduces stress. Stress is a big one. Everybody is stressed. And most of the time we're stressed to such levels that it is interfering with our lives. In uh, 2019, Cornerstone University published an article citing a study by Sussex University. The study is saying that reading for recreation reduces stress up to 68%. 68% people! That's a lot of stress gone. I know I love I would love to have that much stress much stress of my stress gone, wouldn't you? And some emotional benefits that help emotional benefits from reading for fun. It helps people develop compassion. And according to the Merriam-Webster dictionary.com, compassion is a sympathetic consciousness for others to stress with a desire to alleviate it, to alleviate it. And to me as a parent, it's kind of a bonus that it also helps develop well-rounded people because that is something I greatly desire my daughter to be. Some other benefits from reading for reading for fun would be, um, you know, you, um, to have, to have you look, look busy, but not necessarily reading a textbook or something. Um, we all know that if someone is on their phone or at least appears to be that, you know, they, they don't want to be bothered. Books can do this. Books can either do the same thing. Physical books more so than electronic books because it's, you're not holding a, an, a pad, a tablet, or your phone. Usually, you're holding something physical. And something I have learned: thick books, like most of the Harry Potter series. You know how thick they are. Most people will just see the thickness first and just be impressed that you're trying to that you're reading something thick, and they will leave you alone. It is definitely cheaper than taking a vacation. I mean, everything, the cost of everything's on the rise from the cost of gas, the hotels, the food, even like souvenirs and gifts you may want to buy. But books, there are thousands of books that are under $20. And, um, I mean, unless you're wanting something that is out of print or a specific edition, uh, edition is basically just the print. Most of the, most books... Can, are, can even would even be cheaper than 20 bucks. Most of us can find, at least here and there, five to 10 bucks for a book, or even if you've got to set some aside, set some money aside to save up for it. That's also doable. I love reading for fun. I've been doing that most of my life. And if books are stored properly, which is usually like in a cool, dry place, standing up neatly on like on a bookshelf or even laid down stacked they can last for decades and most of them and most of them can be uh, one-time buys which it again makes it cheaper than a vacation um i have a large a very library and i have had that for over 10 years and I'm still reading my favorites over and over again and honestly I still have some books I have yet to read. So in conclusion, reading for fun has many benefits including reducing stress, emotional development, uh, reading for fun is, is uh, cost effective, 
it costs far less to buy a couple of books than sometimes even to travel like to Nashville to, and doing a few things. And um, thick books can also keep unwanted interaction down to a bare minimum. And if stored properly, books are one-time buys and can last, honestly, more than decades. It can last a couple of lifetimes. 